All right, I have my uh, business report or template of, and this is the final exercise for this workshop, is uh, to format this uh, document in the form of a report, the same as what you would uh, hand in for your business report. So we know a uh, business report has to have um, the cover page, or basically title page, introduction, the, the contents of your uh, analysis, which would be headings with subheadings, and then a conclusion, and finally we want to see uh, recommendations. And for your business report, don't put any appendix in, right? you're not needed. So what we're going to do here is uh, uh, we're going to format this document which you can download from the website. Uh, I'm not going to read the contents and so forth, really not interested. Uh, apart from, uh, just, just to make sure, do not copy this format, all this sort of stuff, uh, this sort of text for you know, thinking that it's, it's a template for your business report. It's not, right? Uh, if you have a look right through it, not one dollar value mentioned anywhere, no percentages, even recommendations over here in the wrong format should be in bullet point. Uh, I'm not reading the context, but uh, if you're going to recommend something, I would want to see recommendation followed by, oh, how much money are we going to make, or, <coughs> excuse me, what sort of uh, percentages we're going to be um, uh, making. Uh, you know, better income from last year, we're going to have 25% increase in revenue, blah, 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 right? Uh, if you look at the uh, introduction here, um, it's, it starts going into, for the example for the workshop, it was Marita Loans uh, doing something, and here we're going into blurb about the business, right? Um, if this report was going to the business owner, the business owner already knows that he wants to expand the business. They already know that it's been established for a few, few years and it, they already know that staff members are lacking skills and learning. So uh, it not needed to tell the business owner that this paragraph is completely useless in a way. Right? And over here, uh, we start talking about the purpose of the, the report, right? So in other words, your purpose will be to look at what are the factors that you're analysing and you should spe uh, specify them immediately, right? <coughs> okay. Um, all right. Oh, oh, by the way, another thing, uh, just just to be really sure is, or to make, make it evident to you, please don't use this in your report, right? Uh, this program it doesn't doesn't make sense right so a programmed instruction method or also please don't don't start your sentences with this right okay all right um, this which which that at <coughs> all right uh, so we have some text here and hopefully from your um, from what you've just learned about the uh, review form, what you'll be doing is is basically cut and paste, cut and paste into a Word document um, that you you'll set up ready for your business report. Um, is it'll be in raw format like this, uh, not thinking about headings, page breaks, and so forth. So just put your notes into um, into a particular like a blank blank Word document and leave your formatting right up until the end because. Um, just to just to give you a little bit of a help, uh, helping hand is if you have a report like this and you continually change the formatting, it'll take you three four times longer to write the darn thing. So you're better off leaving all your formatting right up until the end and just put pure text and your notes in here, uh, even if you just uh, paste the charts in. Uh, as you go along, but don't forget, do the formatting right at the end. There's absolutely no point wasting time reformat, reform, reformat, right? Um, so a little bit of uh, helpful advice. Um, <coughs> you see this document here is at a word count of 903 words down the bottom here. Uh, so just expect that your business report will be roughly the same, same in size. So it's really like two, two pages in a way of text. 
so it's not a very complex uh, uh, report that you have to hand in. The only thing I'd have to say is that because it's so short, it's actually extremely difficult because you have to be concise and you have to be able to uh, crunch what you want to say into such a small amount of um, words, right? So it is quite difficult for you to do. So, all right, uh, let's begin by starting to format. <clears throat> I know you're going to be doing you know, fast forward, back forward and all that sort of stuff because uh, I'm going to skip through this fairly quickly. So what I want to do is, um, first off, I want to put in a title page, right? So uh, in here, I could um, put a few, sp uh, few few enters, right? Always like to leave a few enters at the um, or line spaces at the uh, start of a document because it gives you ability to play with what's what's in in the content. Now, uh, what I what I'd suggest to you, this is what you don't do, right? Uh, you do not go to insert pages cover cover page. Um, in this exercise, because we're going to be doing uh, page numbers, section breaks, and so forth, uh, I've found that um, a lot of students in the past past semesters over the years have have been inserting a cover page, and then uh, had massive problems with uh, page numbering and so forth. Right, so. So forget about these u butte little things that they give you for, for free. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a blank page, but, we've, but also don't do an insert blank page from here. Um, do, it, do it in the, the standard fashion, which I'll show you at the moment. Right? Is, um, what we want to do is we want to insert by going to layout, page break, right? But don't do page break, which means give me a new page, uh, it, like put a put a, <coughs> a break in between pages, uh, the standard page break, because you'll see in a second, um, a page break on its own will actually um, not give me the ability to change headers and footers between the different pages. It just um, it, it basically just mimics the same uh, header and footer all the way through. So what we really are after. Uh, to actually put in a break for a new page is to put in a section break to next page. So section breaks allow us to play around with the different headers and so forth, which I'll explain now. So I'm going to insert a sec uh, section break. Now what I've got is my old page here, but I've actually introduced a new page at the top here as well. So I, kn I know this first page will be my title page. So I'm just going to type, type it here, title page. Okay, my title page. And I'm going to hit an enter. Right? And obviously on the title page, remember uh, you have to have um, your student name. Sorry. Student name. And here's student number. And I'm going to say it's this no, three, four, five, six, seven, but whatever, whatever number, right? And I'll say here <coughs> created, updated. And you guys have to put in a chute. What day? Time. And tutors. Right. And whoever it is, slash whoever it is. Okay. Now my total page <coughs> is supposed to have. Um, An explanation of what this uh, report actually is. Marina learns, uh, I don't know, project suggestions. Right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, good old squiggly lines. Right. And the course is information systems. Right. Okay. Now I know. Um, 
this guy will be my title so I'm going to use title format and I'm going to center it but there. and I know this guy here you notice how I've right I've, I've actually no right click it's just if I move my cursor across the page you'll notice it'll flick over that means I can now select the line or double click to select a paragraph in this case it's a line so it's a single click and single click I'm going to make that uh, more emphasized so it's subtitle and I'm going to center it so it's simple as that now these guys here I want them at the bottom of the page so we go down the bottom right. and I'm going to highlight all of these guys and I'm going to shift them over Where's my ruler? View ruler, right? And I'm going to shift these guys over. Why I needed the ruler is because I can get my indentations here. So I'm just going to move them across to here. And obviously, I don't want the big line spacing between everything. So I'm just going to go back to home and I'm going to say, oh, what sort of line spacing? One. And I don't want all those uh, gaps at the end. Uh, which means these uh, gaps between so I'm going to go into the detail paragraph settings and I'm going to say <coughs> after is single after zero right single line spacing uh, dip, 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 dip. Uh, yep it's actually just giving me line feed so I actually have to go and I'm not sure why it gave me line spaces. Anyway, you understand how to um, to format the paragraph. So I'm actually going to go into the format paragraph, and I'll say afterwards, just give me six or no, let's make it three, three. Okay. 